Welcome everybody to the Seasonal Diet, historical based nutrition where we eat what our ancestors ate when they ate it like we were evolved to do. So for the first video this is just kind of an intro to seasonal eating. Um, we know that the best diet for us right is the one that we humans have evolved to eat. Our bodies have evolved over hundreds of thousands of years with the diet that was available to us. So if our daily recommended nutrition requirements are, you know, 2000 calories a day with a certain amount of protein, carbs, fats, minerals, vitamins, so on, 2.4 liters of water, it's because our ancestors evolved to have these daily requirements that they got in their diet. If all of a sudden I became an elephant, I would need 70,000 calories a day and 100 liters of water and very different nutritional needs. So yes, modern humans will benefit most from the diet that their ancestors have evolved to eat. Uh, we all know this now, although we've kind of strayed very far away from this, um, uh, our ancestors' diets, we know that these natural diets are healthier for us. That's why we see the rise in these kind of diets based on that, the paleo diet, the keto diet, hunter-gatherer diet, whatever, plant-based diets, all these different things, and they've all proven to be uh, very good for us in general. But very few of these nutritionists and researchers look at the huge seasonal variation of the diet that we humans would have had before in time. If you tried to be on the keto diet a thousand years ago and ate that diet year round, you would have gone through all your livestock in the summer and had nothing to eat in the winter. Uh, and on the other hand, if you had a mostly plant-based diet or even a full vegan diet any time in history, Good luck surviving the winter in the colder regions in the world where nothing was growing. There's also your own unique ancestry to think about, right? If you're from the warmer, more rainy parts of the world, humid, you can pretty much go out and pick the same foods year-round out of nature. So a vegetarian diet year-round would be great if you were from, say, Asia or South America, something like that. On the other hand, if you're from the colder parts of the world, diet would vary much more like the seasons and your ancestors would have needed a lot more meat at certain times of year. So that's what we're trying to do on this channel, a historical approach towards eating. Follow if you're interested, lots more to come.